Welcome to Country Boy Cooking with Marshall. Y'all, I come home from church today. I came up to Dad's house. Today's his birthday, by the way. Dad is 77 years old today, so thank you for all the happy birthday wishes in the comments to him. I'll show them to him. But Dad wanted some fried squash and onions, just like Mama used to make. Oh, yes. Yes, just like Mama used to make. And I'll even admit, I make my fried squash just a little different than Mama did, but this is the way Mama made it. Completely down to the pepper and salt is the way she's always made it all my life. It's the way Daddy really loves it. So y'all, come on in here, let me show you how I'm doing this. It's so easy. Are y'all ready for this? Let's do it. Y'all, this is really simple. All Mama does when she makes her squash is she don't fry it, I mean, she don't cut them in circles. What she'll do is just go around the squash like this, cutting them about quarter inch pieces. Right in there somewhere, just going around the squash like this. Let me get you a little closer so you can see that. See, she's just going around it. I'm not cutting them in circles, I'm just cutting chunks out of it. See that? No certain way, I just twist it every time. Take some of that top off. Just making it where you can put a lot more squash in your uh, pan. I'm gonna be using my 12 inch cast iron today. That's my favorite pan for anything, really. When you get down to that, of course, you can just cut it in circles because it's so small then. Cut it all the way up to that stem. Throw the stem away. I want the end of that in there neither. Get you another piece and just go around it. Chopping them a quarter, half inch thick. Don't matter. Can't go wrong. I'm going to chop up probably about five of them and I'll be right back. See that? that. That's all there are to it. This little piece is all about the same size, give or take. Now this is, this is the cornmeal mix. See that? That's what you want. It's got a little flour in it in itself. I'm going to put about a cup of this in, of the cornmeal mix. Good cup. Okay. Now even though the cornmeal mix has got flour in it a little bit, I'm still going to put about a quarter of a cup of flour in this. I'm going to sprinkle it all around. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna get my Tupperware bowl lid. I'm gonna put it on tight. And I'm simply gonna shake this real good. Shake it all around now. You can also do this in a gallon freezer bag too. Large Tupperware bowl makes it easier for me. Shake it around real good. So you get it good and coated. See that? Good and coated now. And now let's go to the stove. So now I'm just going to use my skimmer. Remember, remember the skimmer? Y'all need one of these things here. You really do. I'm going to pick my squash up out of this, shake off the excess. And put it in there. See that? Pick it up. Shake off all the excess. Put it in there. These skimmers right here, you've got to have one of these in your kitchen. Got to. Okay, taking all the loose off of it, putting that goodness in there. Get it, I usually get it and hit it on the side, especially if you got one of these big Tupperware bowls like this. You can get this off my website, by the way. I got my heat, it was on about eight, and I'm gonna turn it down probably around medium right now. I don't want this stuff to put too fast and burn. Okay, let's get the last of it right here. Put it over in there. All right, let's get a couple wide bowl over here. Put 
Keep this stuff. Oh my gosh, y'all. As soon as this hits the pan, and that flour and the cornmeal mix with the squash starts cooking, it fills the house, I'm telling you. Everybody wants to stay for dinner then. Okay, now I think I got you a good view there. All we're going to do is let this stuff cook. What you want to do is start folding it over from the outside in. When it starts trying to brown on you. It's more or less turning it over. You probably want to let it cook about a good minute or two before you even start doing this. Again, with this squash right here, you're going to want to go with the color. How brown do you want it? That's when you're going to stop cooking it. I like mine golden brown. Just try to make sure it ain't no pieces real stuck together or nothing. Y'all, the only thing I do different than Mama right here is I use the same technique with my squash, my green tomatoes, and my okra. I put that cup of uh, cornmeal with a quarter cup of flour in that shaking bag with some salt and pepper and different spices depending on what I'm cooking. Then I'll get a cup of buttermilk like I've seen on other videos with a couple of eggs, one or two eggs, do it that way. Oh yeah. With this squash right here, you don't want to try to cook it too fast. Just let it cook on its own. It'll brown by itself. Once I have it on, usually around, mm, right when it's ready to flip or almost ready to flip, I go ahead and add an onion to it. And all I'm doing, see the half onion here? No certain way, I'm just chopping it any which way it wants to chop. Just spreading them out in the mixture here. Mm -hmm. Y'all want that onion starts getting in there with that squash. Lord help me, Jesus. This onion makes this, y'all. It really does. You gotta have the onion. If you write me and say, Marshall, I don't like the onions in it, well, you don't have to put them, but I'm telling you, you're missing out. And what I've got is a good medium sized onion. That's all you need in this. Four or five squashes. Chop her up. Just hold my hands over where I need to drop some onions. See there? Nothing to it, y'all. I'm gonna get a lot more country with y'all. A lot more country. But sometimes I don't cook. Sometimes I don't eat. Sometimes I ain't never eat. Uh, there's two things I ain't never eat, and I never will. Uh, as rabbit and squirrel. Uh -uh. If it looks like it's got rat teeth, <laughs> no, not me. So now I'm gonna go around through here and just turn those onions in, turn, flip everything over. See there? Oh my lord! This can get me a whole new uh, cook top here. This little cook eye, they're a little bit too small for a 12 inch, for a 12 inch fan. I want one try and escape. Let me get that back in there. Mm -hmm. The onions are kicking in, y'all. Now, all of your squash is not going to keep it breading, so don't be alarmed if you see breading coming off some of the squash. It's, that's the way it does with this technique here. It's just as good, I'm telling you, because you'll have the little crunchies in there with it then. Almost like a fish and chip, you know what I'm talking about? You get the fish and then that batter that goes on it. Sometimes that stuff comes loose and they call it chips. So we're going to call this uh, fried squash and onion and chips. <laughs> <laughs> and let that cook just a little bit. I got my heat on medium now, right there about five or medium I got on six. Just a little bit above medium. Add a little pepper to it. I'll probably add y'all, uh, huh, probably about a teaspoon at the most, because after that, you know, I let everybody season it the way they want it. 
I put about a teaspoon of salt too, just to bring all the flavors together. About a teaspoon of salt in there. Oh Lord, there's so many things you can do with this. You could crumble bacon up in it. Oh Lord, that would be a good one right there. Mama never really done that. But I mean, you know, you can take recipes like this and make it your own. You know, tweak it a little bit. That's what I like doing. But sometimes I don't tweak it. Sometimes the recipe is good enough. But for me, if I was doing this, and you said, Marshall, if you were doing that and you had to sit down and eat it, what other two things would you put in that? Well, I'll tell you this. Bacon would be one of them. And mushrooms. Sliced mushrooms would be the other one, y'all. I love them mushrooms. By the way, I always keep your handles. Don't never leave a handle like that, especially if you got kids in the house. I always make sure those handles are way over here. Let it sit a little bit. Put it brown on the bottom. No, you don't want to just constantly stir it. Like I say, it's, it's not that the amount of time it takes. It's how brown do you want your crust and stuff to be in it. That's it. If I had to guess, I'd say it probably takes a good 20, good 20 minutes, you know, once this stuff starts frying good. Mama used to grab anything. She first thing she'd come to is what she'd put with. <laughs> it didn't matter to her. Well, I sure miss her, y'all. We all do. Dad's doing a little better, y'all. He's Dad's lost about 40 pounds. But I'm trying to keep cooking for him, keep his weight up. He's definitely still in the grieving process. We all are, but you imagine being married almost 58 years, what he's going through. Y'all, one day soon, I'll get ready to tell y'all a quick uh, bio of him and Mama, how they met and everything. Mama came straight out of Georgia Baptist Children's Home. Y'all who've been around long enough, you know that she was there from age 7 to age 14 because she had an alcoholic mother and dad that didn't care nothing about her. But they did at the end, you know, toward the end, everybody reconciled, you know, when Mama got grown. I thank God for that. So, yeah, Mom and Dad married. Daddy was 19 years old and Mama was 14 years old. Uh, yeah, you heard that right, 14 years old. Um, they had to have, back then, you know, all they had to have was permission from the parents. Uh, they got permission from mom and daddy. Every time I cook stuff like this right here, especially right here on the same stove that mama cooked on, just like you say, precious memories. Precious memories. Okay, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and call it done. I can see my uh, squash has softened up. My onions are translucent. Everything's ready to get off the stove. So I'm going to plate this up. Let Daddy do the taste time for everybody. Look at that, y'all. How beautiful that is. That's it. Y'all, the only thing I didn't do, because I really don't like it that much, that Mama does do, Right there toward the end, she'll add like three tablespoons of butter to hers. But I think, I, I don't like it with the butter in it, to be honest with you. I just love the taste of goodness of the squash, the onions, oh Lord, the salt and pepper. That's all you need. It really is. Look at that. Ain't that pretty? Now let's get Daddy in here and do the taste test. Good evening, uh, fans. Sonny boy, he cooked cooked up some good fresh squash here and put some onions in it and I'm fixing to test him out right here and he knows it it better be right, right because uh, Mama Joyce wouldn't taught him so here we go mm -hmm. folks I'm telling you that is real, really good. Y'all, today's his birthday. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I tell everybody I've done quit having birthdays. I've done had too many of them. The grandkids brought him out in just a while ago. Looks like they got it from Ingles there. 77 today, and, and I really don't feel like uh, that I'm 77, but, but I am. What does that say on your shirt, Daddy? I'm not old, I'm a grease cycle teenager, okay? That's it. <laughs> That's about the way I feel. What kind of words you got us today? A little quick word, Daddy. 
Well, all I've got to say is this right here. If you, when the Lord draws you, you accept his drawing. Because if you don't, the Bible, the Bible says that's the only thing he won't forgive you for. You know, if you don't accept Jesus Christ as your Lord. And we, as a family, we pretty, pretty uh, neck together on, on the, the Bible and the, the Lord. And, and we just, I just can't, right now, I can't get over my wife, you know. And again, I know probably all of you know it. it that me and her was married almost 58 years and it's rough. It's rough because I, I had a wonderful, wonderful lady. And I'm going a, I'm to a just close with that right there, right now. And, and I'll, uh, I'll be talking to you and show, showing you different things about planters and uh, or trees. And y'all just be good and we'll be praying for all of you. Mama Joyce, let me tell you, she loved them cars y'all used to send to send her. She'd read about every one of them. So I'm going to go now and I, I'll ta be talking to you in time and time with you know, it's Sonny Boy Cooks. Everybody, we sure appreciate your watching. Uh, that's today on Country Boy Cook on a Marshall, where, as always, y'all, Jesus is Lord. Amen.